What's up, gentlemen? I'm your guys. I'm G to QB, back with another video. And um, I know it's been a while. I've been uh, getting some things straight and trying to get it with the production of the whole channel, man. Plus, I got other channels as well. But um, glad to see my 12 subscribers still with me. You know, appreciate you guys. We're going to try to make this channel grow. And uh, I'll need your help. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. And what I'd like to discuss today and give my thoughts on is, uh, <clears throat> you know, of course, the Bears. I usually come with the Bears. We're four and eight. We're not going to uh, we're not going to make the playoffs. So the most important thing is the development of Justin, Justin Fields. And uh, so far, he's progressing pretty good. He got injured here a couple of weeks ago. His ribs was cracked. So. But uh, he bounced back pretty good. Against the Packers, he looked good. Against the Steelers, he looked good. So he's learning, man. He's learning. And, and that's what I want to see, the development of Justin. Now, Matt Nagy has to go. Has to go. I do not trust the development of Matt Nagy. Uh, Justin Fields under Matt Nagy. Uh, it's well documented, mostly by Bears fans, chanting fire Nagy in the whole nine at the Suns High School game, which I don't condone. I don't condone that. You know, leave uh leave his son out of it, man. You know, I get it, but not at the Sun High School football game, man. But uh, nevertheless, <clears throat> he has to go. I heard about some replacements. Um, me personally, I'd like to see a an established head coach. For example, to me, the best fit would be Jim Harbaugh. He has both pro and college experience. He coached Kaepernick, took 49ers to a Super Bowl, lost to the Ravens. But he had hands-on development with a type of quarterback like Justin and Kaepernick. And Kaepernick developed well under him. And the 49ers did pretty pretty good. They went to the Super Bowl. So I'd like to see Harbaugh in there. Um, and maybe, to me, Mike Singletary. I'm old school, man. Let's restore some of this Bears tradition at 46 and uh, bring it all back, man. You know, as being one of the chartered franchises in the NBA, we should have that <clears throat> that moniker of having that defensive stigma, man. That's what we're known for. So, yeah. But um, <clears throat> I think uh, we have to clean house. We have to look to make trades to uh, to fill other needs of the team. And um, if that's maybe trading away big contracts like Khalil Mack, Akeem Hicks, and some other guys, hey, man, it's time to rebuild. It's time to clean house. That's the only way you can compete in the NFL today. So that being said, um, I think the Bears will be OK, though. I think they'll be all right. But uh, another story I wanted to comment on and give my perspective was uh, Travis Hunter, the number one uh, high school player in the league, in the land, uh, committed to Florida State and changed to uh, Jackson State, which is an HBCU. And uh, never in history has the HBCU landed the number one prospect in the country. So this is huge. This could actually kind of shape the landscape when it comes to college recruiting. So big ups to uh, the primetime Sanders, Coach Sanders in uh, Jackson State, which is an HBCU. And uh, <clears throat> not saying all the kids are going to flood HBCUs all of a sudden, but I think this does open up an avenue where the top kids in the country can look to HBCUs because let's face it, a lot of HBCU players in the NFL Hall of Fame, for example, like Jackson State's own Walter Payton, Chicago Bears, um, Jerry Rice, Mississippi Valley State, Michael Strahan, I think is uh, North Texas State, and uh, John Stallworth, Alabama State, Donnie Shell, South Carolina State, Art Shell, South Carolina State. Um, so it's a, you know, a plethora of guys that's been a pipeline to the NFL and to the NFL Hall of Fame. So this is really nothing new. You know, when you think about it, it's nothing new, you know, because HBCUs has is well documented that we used to get guys to the NFL and um, and eventually to the Hall of Fame. So once again, big ups to Jackson State, you know, and, uh, you know, after the, the decade where, you know, the pipeline from the to the NFLs through HBCUs, it stopped and it went to the Power Five schools like, you know, Clemson, Florida State, Notre Dame. They had their run, 
But now this just opens the door to a more recruiting for HBCUs. And it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing. I like to see it. I really like to see it. So uh, <clears throat> you guys tell me what you think about the video. I'm trying to up the production here. And uh, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Peace. I'm GDQB.